everybody, congratulations on getting your new nursing school success kit. So I wanna show you guys the proper way to use a stethoscope and just kind of troubleshooting how to use the stethoscopes in order to hear sounds as clear as a bell. So let's get started. So the first thing you should know is the different parts of a stethoscope. So as you can see here, we have two different sides of the stethoscope, which is really nice. This is a stainless steel chest piece and it's dual sided. So you have the bell. The bell is used for like vowel sounds because it is low frequency. So just remember the beats, bell, vowel, okay? And then we also have a larger, bigger diameter, which is called the diaphragm. The diaphragm is usually used for the lungs and the heart because it hears a higher frequency. So it's bigger, higher frequency, called the diaphragm. And the nice thing about these stethoscopes that you got in your new kit is that there is a dot to remind you of which side that your stethoscope is going to be hearing the frequency on. So the next part of your stethoscope is the tubing. You have this nice thick tubing with these stethoscopes because these are sound blockers. They're gonna keep those external noises out. Um, so if for any reason you guys are having trouble with hearing out of them, you have the diaphragm set. One of the other things you can do is that these are adjustable with this tubing. So you can push these down or push these up in order to um, hear the sounds more clearly as well. Let me teach you guys something too. So when you are listening on a stethoscope, one of the biggest mistakes that someone can make is putting them on the wrong way. And I know it can be kind of hard. It's like, which, which way do I listen in? So if you look from the side, you'll notice that the stethoscope is kind of angled, right? If you guys see how my nose is pointing out, I want my nose and my stethoscope to both be pointing out. And that is the way that I am going to apply my stethoscope. So just remember you want it pointing out and that is how you're going to get the most clear sounds and put on your stethoscope correctly. So once you listen, you want to make sure you have it on the diaphragm if you're going to be listening to the heart and lungs, so high frequency, or the bowel if you're going to be listening to low frequency. And you can test these by just, you know, giving it a little tap. It's loud, you guys. So these are gonna, this is like the perfect stethoscope if you're like me where you're hard of hearing or you're very, very anxious that you're gonna be getting like the breath sounds wrong on the mannequin. Like this is your, this is the best tool. And there you go. This is how you use a stethoscope and you can put it over like this. You can, you know, I don't know. <laughs> you can wear it however you want, you guys. Um, you know, just take care of it. It's a very nice piece of equipment. Um, so I hope you guys love this stethoscope. I will show you the proper way too, real quick, how to oscillate, okay? So as you guys see in your nursing school kit, you also got this auscultation card. It shows you the proper way to auscultate the patient's heart and lungs. But I'm gonna show you a demonstration here too, um, just so you guys have it. Make sure that you're holding it kind of between your fingers like this. Um, that way too, you don't have any fingers under here that might disrupt any noises. Um, and then, you know, you just, don't have your fingers on the patient's skin, that might also affect the noise. So you're just gonna auscultate in that S pattern, kind of like Superman's shirt, okay? So as you can see, I was kind of doing that S-shaped pattern um, with the back as well as the front. When we listen for the heart sounds, um, you're again gonna keep it on the diaphragm 
and you have your auscultation card to kind of give you a guide of what you're looking for and listening for. So we're gonna start with this side. it just takes practice just continue to listen to lung sounds on yourself um, maybe your classmates um, you know keep this on your badge so you can look at what the proper way to auscultate the heart and lungs is um, so you can have that in skills and in clinical and it will get easier with time so I wish you guys the best of luck I hope you guys enjoy your kits and have a great day bye